So the subject of this tutorial is getting only the appropriate sections of the menu to show up. Um, they will depend on the current user logged in. Zen Navigation integrates uh, very nicely with ZDCL, but only as long as you have the resources that the page belongs to uh, configured inside of the XML file. Uh, I personally think it's a kind of a drawback because you have to do the job twice. You have to define the resources uh, in the ACL, which was a difficult enough process, and then you have to do it again inside of the navigation file. Um, maybe one day in the Zen tool they will have an option where you can create a page uh, with the resource automatically, uh, but for now we have to do it by hand. So the logout page belongs to resource logout and this is just as simple as creating a resource tag inside of the page. Uh, this one will have a resource of login and this one will have a resource of books and book. Now notice how I don't create a resource for each individual page underneath books and book. Uh, that's because it picks up the permissions from the hierarchy. So if the books don't have the permission then the list won't show up either. Or once again if the book is not allowed then uh, the entire branch will not be shown. So if it is if the case is as simple as here where add, edit and delete are all restricted then you can just put the resource up here but if you have some more complex permissions then you're going to have to put in a resource into each individual uh, node as well so with the resources that the page belongs to outlined we can move on to linking the navigation and the ACL we're going to go back to the bootstrap file to do that. Uh, Zen Navigation provides a set of classes that link up the ACL that it should use and the role uh, from which it knows what permissions to apply. The ACL is going to be taken from our private property ACL underscore ACL and the current permission to be applied or rather current role will be taken from the auth variable. Now the problem is that the auth is now currently visible only to the init auto load function. So we're gonna have to make it class wide available. So we're gonna refactor some things and move the auth up here. That way it's going to be accessible to other classes as well. So making it null by default and changing it here. So now this way is, uh, underscore auth variable can be applied to other classes when we need to. We don't want, the reason why we're doing this is we don't want to waste memory by having another Zend auth instance in this uh, function here. So with uh, both ACL and auth uh, available in this function, we're going to link the uh, ACL with the help of set ACL method. And the ACL we're linking is the local ACL variable and the role that we're getting comes from set role and it's going to be like 
that. So once again, we're grabbing in the current ACL instance with our ACL rules, and then we are applying the current role that the user is, so that the navigation knows what uh, sections of the tree to display. So let's see what it looks like now. I will have a problem because uh, apparently I don't have a logout resource available. Uh, so we'll add it quickly inside of the ACL file. And I, I think I don't have login either. Okay, at the moment I don't have anything showing up because my permissions are not very well defined. Um, I'm going to change them a little bit. Instead of creating a separate allow permission, I'm going to put it all inside of an array. So it looks more organized. So a user is going to be allowed to go to an index page to obviously log out and to look at books. Now once I allow him to look at books because the list is inheriting from the books I should see both of them in there. And there we go. I can uh, log out and I can uh, list the books there. Um, I will do the same thing for admin. So I will log out and I will log in as an admin. and I will allow admin to have access to all the book. There. So now admin has uh, access to book and books list. He can add and edit books as well as can list while regular user only list. Okay, uh, we are missing a login button. The problem is that when nobody is logged in, the Zend auth instance is null. So what we need to do is to create a resource that is available to any role at all. And this is accomplished with the help of null being the first parameter in the allow method. So as long as the first parameter in the allow method is null, any resource in the second parameter will be available to any role, whether he is logged in or not. So now we have login popping up here. Uh, but however, we still have a problem because once we log in, the login still pops up in there because, as I just said, it allows everyone to access it. So what we have to do is explicitly disallow uh, the available roles to look at it. So we're going to deny user to log in. And because admin inherits from user, this permission is also applied to admin. So let's check once again. There. Login is not accessible to user, but it is accessible to uh, someone who has never logged in yet. Uh, check in administrator account also has no access to login, instead we have logout sitting up here. So there we have it, a uh, navigation that is responsive to the current role as defined by the ACL.